Let's talk about first uh, capturing your 3D data. So the first one I'm going to talk about is laser scanning. So when it comes to laser scanning, um, that's a type of instrument which, well, it has limited options. Okay, so um, a lot of laser scanners don't have good uh, photo quality unless it uses an external camera. But other things uh, are, for example, uh, the density of the data. So when you're capturing a laser scan, uh, for whatever reason, um, how dense those points are may be helpful to you. So density is important. And as a result, um, your camera positions or where you're putting the scanner is important as well. Often with the, uh, with the laser scanner, it's a line of sight instrument. So the general rule of thumb here is that if you're going to be doing this for an animation, it's better to actually have more scan positions than it is to just increase your resolution. High resolution with fewer scan positions is not really all that helpful because you're still going to see the holes. Granted, you'll have more data where you do see it, but if you just have holes everywhere, it's not going to look that attractive. Now, I talked about color and exposure. So uh, if you have the option, for example, for high dynamic range on a lot of these scanners, which currently do, this is super helpful, right? It'll help to bring those extreme values in the correct exposure. Okay, so that's really the bottom line there. Uh, there are some different uh, settings that can be used in terms of exposure, but even sometimes on hand scanners and things like this, there's little sliders and such that you can adjust. So ensuring that you're going to be uh, getting the best color data possible is uh, really important. Well, I already talked about the scanner positions, but one thing I didn't talk about is if you're outdoors, it's really helpful to elevate your scan position. So if you're doing a roadway, uh, it does a couple of things. So one thing is that you, by... Uh, lifting the scan position up, you get more points on the ground, right? So if we took an extreme situation where the scanner was very, very low to the ground, let's say it was just like, you know, 30 centimeters or something off the ground, you can't scan the ground or the roadway far away. And what happens is there's no laser return. It just kind of goes off. It bounces and reflects off it. The angle is just too shallow. So raising your camera position up will allow you to collect more points and give you a slightly different perspective. Now, the second thing that it does, too, is you'll know that, for example, with laser scanning, if you're scanning trees or you have edges of objects that have the sky as a background, there's often color bleed. So the background gray or blue sky or whatever uh, will sometimes bleed onto the corners of these objects. And this is very common with trees. So if you have a high scan position, basically you're raising the horizon. And so what you'll find is that the higher you go, that position where you get color bleed will change as well. So you'll get more uh, data from trees and leaves uh, that are not um, you know, getting this false color. So that will be helpful as well. Now, photogrammetry is a big one, and I've uh, covered a whole bunch of stuff on this in some of my previous Click 3D videos. So please go back and uh, have a look at some of these. But basically, there's three things that really matter with your camera settings in order to get proper exposure. And one of them is going to be your uh, actual shutter speed. The other one is going to be your ISO setting. And the other one is going to be your... Um, your aperture setting. Okay, so those three things are the, the three important uh, settings that will give you the best possible photo. Now, sometimes, like I said before, with the scanner, you can use HDR or you can use some other things as well to your advantage. But of course, lighting is very important. And if you have an object where you have control of the lighting, that is super helpful. So keep that in mind whenever you're going to be using photogrammetry for this type of thing. Now, in both the case of laser scanning and photogrammetry, a lot of the software packages have editing features. So um, one of them might be texture adjustments. So you might be able to play with some sliders, especially in photogrammetry packages. Sometimes with the scanner software, for example, in Ferrocene and even other scanning software, you can filter out data. So if there's a lot of stray points or like noisy points or whatever, there are ways to um, filter these out, including uh, removing just unwanted areas. So if there's an area beyond a doorway or something that I just don't want to have, um, you can just crop those out, cut them out, delete them, or even just hide them. Okay, so preparing, capturing your data and preparing it properly is going to be really important when you're going to be creating a visualization.